there's a deep, deep darkness. Unlike the fake darkness just before, this is real. Just before, fake. Though, I can't even process my own thoughts to understand what they mean. Who am I? Anyway, what is this? What is darkness? Who is the one interpreting these subjective concepts? And who say whether they're right or wrong? Not. I don't know. 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 I don't know anything at all. I'm sorry. I've been going at this all wrong. Everything I saw was wrong. And my thoughts were mistaken. That's why I... I can hear a voice, a voice from within the deep, deep darkness. I love you. I love you. A sweet voice that seemed to melt my exhausted body, warm mind, trying to gently, to, um, trying gently to carry them off. I love you. 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 My thoughts are painted over by love. The blinding love smothered the darkness. If I let myself get buried in this love, Subaru. I hear a voice. I do that vast, overwhelming love. I'm sure I heard a hear a voice. Subaru. I turn my face towards it. Face, yes. I turn my face and look towards the light piercing through the darkness. So I and so I extend my hand towards it, discarding the world of darkness and driving into the new light. As I gain distance, I can tell the voice is clinging to me. Do I move forward and as we separate, just before plunging into the darkness. There is a moment of silence and a flash of white, then... I love you. A sound of love distant from the one before gives my, fi gives my back one final push. I could ask you the same. <laughs> hmm? What is it, Subaru? Oh, what? <laughs> hmm? what is it, Subaru? You don't look too well. Subaru? Subaru? What happened? How troublesome. You, move aside. We have a patient coming through. My vision wavers. All I can see is the sky. My limbs are lifeless, so I let myself get carried like some luggage. I can't speak. My head hurts. A repulsive sensation crawls through my organs. I know I'm just imagining it, but it feels all too real. Subaru! Subaru! After all, I've been filled to literally bursting with bugs. Subaru, here's some water. Can you drink? It, yeah, thanks. I think I'm good. Very well then. Though it is unfortunate. If you were unable to drink, Rem would have strived to take care of you. That's... well... yeah... maybe next time. Yes. Please drink slowly as to not overstress your stomach. I do as Rem told me and get some water from the pitcher. The cold fluid run down my throat and my frightened organs slowly take it in. Water. Plain old water. It's definitely not those disgusting wiggling insects. Don't be scared of it, my organs. Just return to your normal state. Be Perform your usual function and be mindful of regular dis digestion and sleep, sound sleep. That's all. That's all I need. I should be able to get back to normal. Subaru. Sorry if I made you worry. Where's Ram Ram and Julius? They are in the plaza, dealing with everyone who has just arrived. We have not disclosed the fact that the members of Miss Amelia's camp were involved in the incident. I see. So you got the story through. I guess it could be worse then. It's chilling to think of a crucial warning like that being dis um, delayed because I collapsed. Luckily, it seemed I returned right after Ram f figured it out. So I were, so we were able to avoid Amelia's name being spread and uh, alerting the witch cult. At least, I think so. To be honest, that's just me being hopeful. After all, before I could see how things turned out, I died at the hand of, the, of a terrifying enemy. 
had to take it some time to rest and drink the water Rem gave me. The confusion in my mind begins clearing. I gather my thoughts and fi fi um, further my understanding and seek out the answers. There's so much I need to go over. The biggest issue is be um, being... The imposter has to be melty. That's the conclusion I came to from Sakura's word as um church at the church as I was dying. She's the only one who fit the bill. Thinking back, Melty was always the most likely to be the fake candidate. Amelia and Felt have too little chance of wanting to bother being fakes. Oh I just realized. I realized why Sakura might have sent out the um dust bandits. She probably figured that Amelia would have gone with um with us, but instead she found out later that it w they didn't go. And it since she was fine, she normally would have gone. But um, it, she found out last minute and wasn't told by either Melty or um Tiga that we it was um me it was um Subaru, Ram, and Ram, and Sage and Priscilla were both attacked by Wolf as well. Oh wait, think back, Melty was always the most likely to be the fake candidate. Melee and Felt had too little chance of winning to bother being fakes. And Sage and Priscilla were both attacked by Wolf as well. Not leave either Crochet or Melty, but... I guess my hunch was right. <laughs> guess that makes me some sort of super sleuth. Not that I've ever done any detective work before. Eh, Erica would give you, uh... A pass. My jokes and quips fall flat. Despite having discovered, um, discovered the imposter we've been so worried about, I don't feel any better at all. Wolf is solemn. Puka's magic was the trump card he used to burn me alive. Think of it that way. It all makes sense. I was so solemn and Tigo were from the same from the same place. They had the groundwork laid out to help the imposter. Think it back during the loop when they rushed to our aid when we were attacked by the dust bandits, it could have been a ploy to butter us up. There's something else I found out that makes me think someone is wolf too. Her big brother. Mati had shouted her big her brother and it sounded to me like it was directed at Solom. Melty and Solom are siblings. So would Solom really go to such lengths to help Melty win? And Puka is just tagging along for the ride? Does that mean Tega's in on it too? How complicit is Melty in all this? God damn it! I can't make sense of it all! Still, I need to talk to them. It appears you've sorted through your thoughts, Subaru. Whoa, whoa! Didn't you hear me talking to myself just now? I was just lamenting about how I can't make sense of all this. Right, but that gallant look in your eyes has Rem's heart beating a flutter. <laughs> so my scary eyes are looking scarier, huh? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Is that a compliment? <sighs> Thanks. Rinse while helps soften the stiffness in my heart. There's so much I don't know, but at least now I'm not dancing in the palm of someone's hands without realizing it. I'd rather punch a hole in their palm with my clumsy dance moves. That's the spirit. So what will you do? I feel bad for Ram Ram and Julius, but I'll have to leave them to handle the or plaza. You we have other things or you take, to take Julius care of. with you because you can't you can't rely on only Ram. What could that be? I want to talk to Tiga. Oh, but he was just with us earlier. Yeah, but he ran off in a hurry, right? I want to talk to him about something that happened after that. I remember seeing Tiga and Solon facing each other, and Tiga seemed to be dis disagreeing about something. As a result, he angered Sakura and met his demise on. Um, on the church floor, it's swarmed by bugs. <laughs> Super discovered um, Sakura's true identity with Return by Death ability, but he can't tell anyone. I don't know his intention, even if we he were just point, pointing and laughing. Oh my god, it's another freaking spelling error! How is this one even worse? It's spelled P O I um T N I N G, not um, and it's supposed to be spelled P O I N T I N G, pointing. 
God, what the f Oh, this is so bad. It's getting worse at the end of the game. If there's a chance... Uh, Pointing and laughing at me, if there's a chance that wasn't the case. It's worth a try. But if he isn't on my side, we have to avoid getting seen by them. They have their guard up against me. The main reason I died this time is probably because I interfered with Sakura plan so many times now. That made her rage and try to get rid of me. I'm supposed to be capable and sharp? What a joke. If I really were so capable, I would have had better control of the situation. I don't have any extraordinary abilities like that. I just cheat. But even then, I still I'm still useless. So useless. I'm incompetent, powerless, reckless. That's me, Subaru Nuts. Yes, that is Subaru. Ram, you're not supposed to agree to that. But whatever. Anyway, we can't be careless here. One wrong move, and we'll be fighting with Wolf again. That said, I don't have it in me to just march right into the church either. What should I do? Huh? Oh, it's you guys. Funny seeing you in a place like this. What? What are you doing in a back alley like this anyway? You'll get mugged down to your birthday suit hanging out around here. F felt I'd ask you the same thing. What are you doing here? What kind of question is that? Places like these are my backyard. If I want to walk around here, that's my business. Miss Felt, I don't believe that is what Subaru meant. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he just wants me to be all prim and ladylike like Reinhardt's always no. say. If he wants such a well-mannered princess, he shouldn't have picked me in the first place. I'm me, and there's no way that's gonna change. So I'll come to the back alley if I want, damn it! I don't see how that last part is related. But man, you're in a mood. Did something happen at the castle? Hm. It was nothing. Just a bunch of self-important old geezers getting together and nagging me with boring So... It pissed me off. So I came out here to blow off some steam. So they steam. interrogated her too. Subaru, Miss Felt seems to be speaking of... Yeah. The questioning at the castle. Just like Melee, Felt's turn must have been today. It seems to that Felt interrogation ended up happening at the this timing because of various schedule delays. Because of that, we have to deal with a bad mood Felt. Oh? Oh? What? You trying to piss me off too? It might be strange to say myself, but who knows what I'll do when I snap? What a persuasive threat. But I don't have spare time to deal with you right now. Just walk around the back alley for a while. Wait, where's your guard? Didn't you hear about how dangerous it is to be out here? That took a long time. S so where is Reinhardt? He's really busy, so he hasn't been around lately. I hear there have been fires all around Wait, the what? capital. Fires? Do you mean arson? Yes. So he's been out dealing with those. It sounds like they're having a hard time catching the culprit, too. So, since he's gone, I get to go out and about as I please. <sighs> what? Don't give me that face. You know how fast I can run, right? I won't let any electrics catch me. Miss Felt, I apologize for being so direct, but you should make light of your opponents. Ugh, don't lecture me. Why should I listen to someone lecturing me in my own yard? Felt willfully ignore where in point, but at least now I can be sure of one thing. The culprits setting fire in the royal capital are probably in Salem and Pukum. With Wolf existence known now, they've been forced to change their original plan. Now they're creating distraction for the guard and the knights. It makes sense if they don't. I wouldn't be surprised if Reinhardt captured them easily. Is that in that case the damage done here is because of me? I created this situation. Everything is so depressing. You worry too much. The fires have all been pretty small, and it seems no one's died from them yet. That's... A small mercy, considering everything goes. I doubt it actually helps any. Huh? Pukum fire magic is immensely powerful. I know because I've been killed by it before. With that kind of firepower, if the fire are going out without any dust, it means that those who never intended to kill anyone. No, that's stretching it a bit. Just calm down. I need to think this through logically. I can't be so optimistic about this. I don't really get it, but is he okay muttering like this? Yes, it's fine to let him mutter. Right now, Super is thinking about things as hard as he can. Thanks for the reassurance. That's a pretty big expectation. Anyway... I made up my mind. 
We'll stick to our previous plan. First, I want to talk to Tiga. I have to meet up with him to do that, but we can't go to the church without a plan. I think it'd be better if we spoke to him on his own. Your story keeps jumping, so I can't keep up. But it sounds like you're pretty troubled. We've been on the front lines together. So if you've got something on your mind, I can offer you a good rate. I appreciate the sentiment, your intent to charge me aside. But even if I talk to you, talk to you... <sighs> uh, you okay? Super ill? I'll answer to him as I con contemplate deeply my hand over my face. Could felt at offer it actually be a once in a lifetime opportunity? It's too risky to go to the church right now. But if someone enters the church and calls Tiga outside for me... Fel is a reliable and um, a company thief, so sneaking in somewhere it should be easy for her. Of course, there's some danger involved. Even if I support Fel infiltration from, out, from the outside, I can't, I can't reduce the risk to zero. That would be irresponsible of me. Involving Fel would be... What? Did you just give up? <laughs> ha! Your face screams I'm right on the money. <laughs> oh, come on, Miss Felt. What could you possibly mean? Do you suck at playing dumb or what? And don't call me Miss Felt either. It's creepy. I can tell from that pathetic face of yours. People who just give up on something always have a dejected look on their face. Felt. So, out with it. Say what's been on your mind. <sighs> tell me everything. What you just thought of, and whatever you gave up on after thinking about it. I'll be the one to decide if I can handle it or not. Don't turn to me for help, then leave me high and dry. Felt. You... Uh, yeah. Right. That's right. What is? I just thought how, even now, you really are a royal candidate. <laughs> anyway, I want to talk to Tiga, who's at the church. But I'm worried about sending myself or Rem inside. So it'd be really helpful if we could use your dexterity. Hmm... Um, Miss Felt? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm listening. I get what you want to do, but... Is it too dangerous? That's not it. I have only one thing to say. This is really gonna <gasps> cost you, you know? Felt, does that mean... I'd be super annoyed if you didn't think um, I could... Let me just quickly read it. Here. Anyway. Felt is extremely nimble. She's far more suitable for infiltration than Subaru. Handle it, or that you think I shouldn't. So, I'll help you out. In exchange? No, that's fine. What? Tell me. I want to know. You've already said that much. Might as well tell me the rest. Miss Felt, if this regards your compensation, please tell us what you want. Rem will pay for it, even if it takes a lifetime to do so. I'm not asking for anything that drastic. It's just something I was thinking about. Since you're being so cautious of that Melty Girl's church, that must mean... Yeah, but I can't say for sure yet. I see. The sweets she gave me at that get-together were really good. With that, Felt lightly tilts her head. I didn't say it outright, but she seemed to get it. That I was sure Melty and her camp were the imposter, and that why I was being so cautious. Alright, guess I'll get ready then. You just need me to tell that foppish guy to come outside, right? I get the foppish evaluation, but still. What should I tell him? That you're no. calling for him? Right. Let him know to meet me at the tavern in the shopping district. Actually... With the situation as it is, it would be weird for Phil to tell him to go somewhere, considering the possibility he'd be suspicious of her. Bestie. What? Tell him his bestie is calling for him. If you say that, he should be more willing to listen. Bestie. That's a weird word. Hold on. Super acts fell to a range of meeting. He needs to meet with Tiga while Sakura no taking notice. <laughs> but whatever. Anyway, I'll get it done. We should get felt to help us. I better ha hurry to the church. I never even dreamed of suspecting Melty. The more I think about it, the more absurd it seems. There's no reason to exclude Melty as a possible fake candidate. Yet, I was convinced without good reason that Melty couldn't be the, an imposter. 
Rem always doubted her. <laughs> <laughs> really? Was she really that shady? No, but Rem is suspicious of every woman that grows close to Subaru. <laughs> I don't know why that was the most hilarious thing. I always doubted her. I never trusted her for a moment. Why did Subaru never suspect Melty when he had every reason to? Please don't smile while saying that. You're scaring me. Of course, if their feelings are sincere for you, Rem would not get in the way. However, Rem will never allow others to manipulate you to their own will or to commit evil. Oh, okay. Jeez, Rem. I guess that's reassuring. Moderation is the key to everything. Earning too much has its own problems. That's why moderation's important. You want to know about that church? Let's see. I have a friend who is a devout follower. He says he'd risk his life for the nun. Why don't you go to the service? That nun is young and pretty, too. That alone makes and it worth it. I'm now not no longer taking your um word. Um, I want to save, so I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and next time we'll be going to the um we'll be encountering Tiga. Take care.